Consider your business website as the compiled interactive visualization of your brand. It features your products, links, your social media accounts, contains your brand and contact information, among anything and everything related to your business. It establishes credibility and builds trust with your customers. So it goes without saying that the quality of your website directly impacts your business's results. Once your website is up and running though, it can be easy to forget to update it as you go, and it may lead to your website looking out of trend and needing a style refresh. That's why in this video, we're going to give you eight great ways to redesign or refresh your website, so stay tuned. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Jellywood Life Marketing, a digital marketing agency dedicated to helping small businesses grow. Before we get started, this is your reminder to subscribe to our channel if you aren't already and to hit that notification bell icon to get notified as we upload our business growing videos. Today, I'll be giving you tips on how you can redesign or update your current website. So let's get started. Tip number one, review your style. Using preset template designs on your website can be a very attractive option, especially when you're starting out. But as you go, you'll want to do a thorough scan of everything in your page to make sure that it not only looks nice design wise but also reflects your business's persona well and follows your visual style across other platforms. To find inspiration for website designs for your business, you can visit sites like SiteInspire.com. This site gives you the option to browse through web design references in different categories like the nature of your business or style of design. Once you find a design you like that complements your brand well, you can emulate that reference into your own website. You should also note that your page needs to look harmonious with your other digital marketing visuals like your social media posts, banners, and ads. So take that into consideration when picking your layout design and making your website graphics like banners and thumbnails. This is because your website visitors are most likely coming from one of your social media platforms or have been directed to your website by your ads. So the last thing you wanna do is confuse your customers when they come from a social media post that looks like this and then enter a website that looks like this. The colors used, the fonts, and even the style of design don't match and you're losing a lot of the trust you were supposed to build with your website in the first place. Make sure that your website has familiar elements, correct use of brand colors, and typefaces that they have already associated with your brand through your social media graphics. Tip number two, make your banner as eye-catching as you can. The average person's attention span lasts eight seconds. Also, only 28% of the words on average are ever read on a web page. You only have that long and that amount of text to catch someone's attention and keep them scrolling through your website and the first thing people see on your website is the banner. Make sure that your banner strikes a visual impact and it keeps your visitors' attention long enough for them to want to see more of your page. What are you selling or what service are you offering and why should they want it? Make sure this information is displayed in the most eye-catching way through your banner graphics. Aside from still images, you can also use videos and have your banner headline overlay that as the eye is attracted to movement. This will keep your page's visitors in your website long enough for them to want to know more about your brand. Tip number three, adjust it so that it's mobile friendly. 79% of smartphone users have made a purchase online using their mobile device in the last six months. And smartphones have a 63% share of retail website visits. This makes how your website looks through mobile view a vital part of converting your website traffic traffic to sales. If your font choices are hard to read, or if your website looks cramped on its mobile version, you are less likely to impress your visitors, build trust, and communicate what you need to. Be sure to review what your website looks like on both Android and Apple devices and make adjustments to improve clarity for your mobile page visitors. Hello! We just helped a small business make over $1.5 million through Facebook advertising. After managing millions of dollars of ad spend for thousands of small businesses and creating thousands of social posts to help businesses connect with their customers, we know how to get results. And we we want to help small businesses get results too. So we've decided to give away our knowledge, learning experiences, resources, tools, and feedback to help you achieve results for your digital marketing efforts. If you want to learn the blueprint for success, the best practices from some of the fastest growing companies in the world, get access to all the tools that you'll need, and get live expert guidance from yours truly, stop what you're doing and sign up for our coaching program today. Tip number four do a text check. This is everything related to text and typography. Are you using the correct brand fonts? Are you following correct font hierarchy and alignment throughout your website? Is your text size and kerning clear enough to be read on both website and mobile view? And do the font colors contrast their background enough so that your website visitors don't miss any information you added to your page? Be sure to ask yourself these questions and adjust your website accordingly. Tip number five, 
highlight your call to action, or make sure they are visible. Once your visitors are in your page, your CTA buttons are there to point them into the right direction and guide them into conversion. A vital upgrade to any website design is to strategically place your CTAs where your visitors can easily find them. This can be in other places in your website, but it is vital that one of your call to action buttons are located in your headline as this again is the first thing they see in your website and what catches the most attention. Make sure that your call to action is readable and stands out so it doesn't blend in the background. Tip number six, curate your used images. This can be your product images, banners, blog thumbnails, among other website images. And you can increase the overall visual impact and impress your page visitors more by simply taking the time to look through your website images and see how you can improve each and every image. Make sure your logo isn't pixelated, update your thumbnails to higher resolution images, and avoid stock photos that look too staged. Touch up your product images so that the lighting is balanced and remove any dust or unwanted particles in the image. And of course, make sure that your header image is high resolution as it takes up a huge portion of your page and the last thing you want is for it to look blurry. Tip number seven, make your socials visible. Your website can help bring organic following to your social media pages. Simply make sure that all your socials are linked and are in a visible area in your website to encourage your page's visitors to follow you across your platforms. And tip number eight, keep Hicks Law in mind. If you're not familiar with it, Hicks Law is a simple idea that says that the more choices you present your users with, the longer it'll take for them to reach a decision. This principle is commonly neglected and is a potentially dangerous pit to lose customers in. The gist of it is to make sure that you aren't overcrowding your page with too much information, visuals, or functionality in one area. Give your page elements space to breathe and make sure you're not overcrowding your page with too much text, too many products in one image, too many buttons, among other website elements you want to avoid condensing in small cramped spaces to the point that you lose interest from your page's visitors. Now with these website redesign ideas, what's the first change you want to make in your website? Do you have any website redesign tips you'd like to share? Let us know in the comments down below. And that is it for today's video. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more essential digital marketing guides. This is Jelly from Life Marketing and I'll see you in the next one.